Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today we're going to uh, see some of the cute things and the great things that my kids got me for my birthday. And then I am going to do a plan with me. So stick around and I will do my best. If you don't want to see the stuff, I will um, try to put a time marker to where you can just jump to the plan with me. Um, so this I bought myself and I will show you that in a little bit, but my oldest nailed it. He went into the store and nailed it. And this is a kid who is, you know, he's a, an electrician. He's an engineering. He doesn't do crafty, whatever things, but this kid nailed it. So, um, I got, he went in and picked out this washi tape and we'll look at it in a minute. This washi tape is awesome. And I couldn't have picked out a better set. Um, because I don't have these colors. So whatever was leading him and guiding him, he did really, really well. Um, the, he got me a set of Statler fine liners and I love these. I told him he felt bad because I told him I had a set until I told him that my set is like 14 years old and half the pens are gone because the tips are gone. So I got a new set of Statler fine liners. I love these. These are great. Um, and then he got this. This is, let me show you how thick this book is. This is insane. This is at least twice, if not three times as thick as any other scrapbook paper pack than I would have ever bought myself. Um, and the fact that, and we'll go through a couple of these. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, but the, the theme he picked couldn't have fit me better. So, um, I did twist this open, but I'm going to, we're going to push that aside. Um, let me see if I can't find, okay, here, we will take this. Um, okay, so you can see these up close. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, um, he does so, so well. Before I start this, I'm going to show you my, my younger son who just got a job, by the way. So he's, he's not had a whole lot of money or anything. We were traveling, um, about a month ago and we stopped someplace and he saw this and he grabbed it and gave it to me in the car and told me it was an early birthday present. And I love it. Um, because he knows I have a stuffed ET because when I bought the, um, anniversary ET on uh, DVD because I still had the VHS. I still have the VHS. Um, it came with a stuffed ET and I still have that and ET sits in my car with me. This guy, this guy is huge. Look how big he is. He got me group. He's adorable. I absolutely love him and my kids know that I love like certain things like this. Um, I don't normally buy this stuff for myself but he is so adorable and I love it and he's so super soft. So this is what my younger son got me. And um, we're going to go through these washies real quick because uh, I want to get to the pad if I can find where they start. Oop, wait. Oh my goodness. There it is. It's there. Okay. So this is on whitish paper. Um, so I'm just going to tear off a small portion. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, so that should help a little bit so that uh, you guys can see a good um, view of this. So there's that one. That one's really pretty. It'd be a nice border. Um, by the way, this oh, does not have, they don't have collection uh, information on them at all. So I really can't help you out with that, except just look for <laughs> this at Michael's. Um, Cause he did go into Michael's. This is recollections. And just, if, you don't, if you're new here, we don't live anywhere close to any of this stuff. Um, so the fact that he went, um, and we don't, where he works, they don't have one of these either. It's about an hour away. So he went and um, 
made a point to go out to the store and get it. Um, so this says Bloom, Seek, Joy, Heart. Oh, Wild at Heart, Bloom, Seek, and Joy. So I'm just going to put that down there. And I probably could have cut that better, but... And this is really cute. I like this as a nice little border. Um, just as an accent. And then let's see. I probably should have found all the ends beforehand. This is really pretty. I love these last couple ones. This one especially. Um, so I'm, <laughs> look at this glitter. I don't use glitter. And I'm hoping the glitter doesn't come off. Because I've, I've not bought glitter washi tape. Because I don't want the glitter coming off. Um, and I don't know if it does or doesn't. But that'll be really fun for... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Christmas. So you'll have to forgive this. I just grabbed a closest notepad to me. Um, just closest piece of paper, I guess, on my desk. And then there's that one. So these are the ones that are in this set. Let me see if I can't give you a good view. Um, and that. So these are super fun. And I really want to try to use... Um, these in this next spread because they're just fun. I love them. Okay, so before we go on to the pad, I'm going to show you, and I'm not going to do the same thing I just did. Um, I will show you. I bought this set of washi, and I can link this one on Amazon if you want. Um, and it is 24 rolls of fall washi gnome pumpkin leaves. So I haven't opened this up. I've just seen it online. It literally just came in the mail. Let's see if I can just dump them. Oop, they're running away. Oh, and there's more in there. Okay. Do I know where I'm putting all this? No, because I don't have a uh, box or container or anything big enough to contain these. So let me see if I can. I will pull some apart or pull some out. Um, so we've got pumpkins and oop, that one's upside down yep there it is and then this one has words oop, let's see if we can. so it says autumn day fall autumn vibes and these just have pumpkins and then we'll pick up the next three so we've got a buffalo check a sunflower and a red solid and then again, another red solid. Is that, it's a different tone of red. Maybe it's an orangey red a little bit. And then we've got a different pumpkin one. And this looks like acorns and, um, oop, sorry. Um, little ones like that, let's see. So we've got some fall leaves. These are all different. I just got some on orange, some on black, and some on green. And then, let's see, we've got um, pumpkins with coffee cups and pie. And then we've got the orange crosshatch and an orange solid. Okay. Oh, look. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so the the cars, trucks, and tractor with a pumpkin um, hauling tractors. And then we've got some gnomes. Let's see if I can't. There we go. If it's been out of focus, I'm sorry. And then we've got the polka dots for fun. Okay, and these are the last ones out of there. So this is another gnome. And then, oh, look at these cute little mushrooms. And leaves. Okay, and then we've got some more leaves on different backgrounds. And then we've got a row of trees. How pretty is that? 
So that is the 24 rolls. I'm going to zoom back out so that I can go through some of the uh, paper pad. This is, um, I guess, Academia, Academia, uh, Monde Université. So um, I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. So I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see, but it's got 60 designs and three sheets each. So there's um, this one, nice and pretty. There's these books I absolutely love. So my kid, knowing me, I love books. I read a ton and I've always loved books. And so this picking this set has been really good. Uh, this is on the lower right hand side. I don't have enough room to go that way. Uh, it says, look for me in the library. Maybe I can. Let me see. Okay. So that one will work. Okay. So. And then there's a world map kind of a thing in a book finding. And then there's bookshelves. And then books on the left. A blue check plaid. A nice uh, ivory pattern on this beautiful blue. I love this muted, dark, dusky blue. So look, okay, so I have not looked through this thing completely. I just kind of flipped through this. I love this. This is great. I can see taking certain aspects of it and putting it in my planner and then putting like a small box off to the side. So um, lots and lots of things I can do. Um, I'm going to say that's mathematical diagramming engineering things. So we're just going to go with that. I don't know what that's supposed to look be. Um, another really pretty neutralish pattern. Some beautiful doors. Y'all, if I could, I would have an old English library with these doors as my house. <laughs> that's how I love books. Um, I have for five bookshelves myself and then my daughter has a big one that she built and uh, when my son moves we're gonna move some of it into his one of his rooms to have a library <laughs> um, so there's a red and brown checkered um, this is an old library setting and then Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this. This is great. These um, four sections because it, it gives you a lot of versatility. You can cut one out and do like a whole section, like a whole area. So that could be like, a, you know, on because I do dashboards, so it would be on my left. Um, I could do like a whole section of that. Oh, it looks like crinkled paper. Oh, look, all the patterns that we've had so far or most of them, because we haven't had these two or that one um, in uh, tags. And then there's a green check and then some books on the right, a little different of a pattern, a water stained paper. That's an old, um, like a university seating for a big college. Oh, look at that. Some beautiful fall leaves. And then we have another one that says notes and sun as girls be. I'm not sure. Um, and some of this diagram thing. So this is really pretty. And then we've got some um, bordered paper. And this is another, I'm going to start calling these like a neutral wallpaper because that's what it reminds me of like old Victorian times wallpaper when they have this patterns like this. A cross hatch in red and brown. And then we repeat the um, fall or the leaf wreaths. I can't think there's a name for the, the leaves doing this, but there I can't think um, on blue. 
And then we have a combination of the tan, green, blue, and red with a beige background. Another Borders page. A burgundy, really pretty burgundy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Certified book lover from the Library of Library Card. And this would be a nice little framed out piece. And then this book belongs to, so that'll be fun. Um, another border in green. Uh, read more books. Go away, I'm reading. Study mode. One more chapter. So many books, so little time. I'd rather be reading. Coffee and books. Book lover. Cozy up, it's time to read. I just want to make sure we're still clear and in frame. This is cool. I like this one. It's um, kind of almost like a fabric-y, uh, texture-y look. And then we have a brownish red. And if you're old enough, shh, we're just not going to say, um, this is the card catalog before you got to go to the computers to look things up and type them up and go, where is it in the library? You had to look it up by the card catalog. <laughs> so then a really nice green neutral. And then this is like a charcoal -y brown color, like um, worn um, paints, kind of a swash. And then we've got some really pretty leaves again. And then a textured look of a mustardy kind of color. <gasps> look how neat that is. That is a, a vertical, like an up view of um, an old library. And then this is a, I'm gonna call it wallpaper pattern. I don't know if you can see the little patterns here. And then we have a really pretty leaf pattern here in blue and then a leaf pattern in green. And then there's a red, like kind of semi textured. The paper is not textured. It just looks textured. Oh, how cool. This is neat. I like this. Um, and then, oh, that looks like a traditional um, Argyle kind of a pattern. So that one's in red and that's in blue and green. And then, oh look, these are cute. The due dates, the library cards. So that's really cool. And then a brown worn, kind of almost like a leathery, worn leather brown. And then a really pretty uh, floral pattern. And then we have a brown and beige uh, argyle -y look. There's a microscope. That's what that's called. Microscope. Ooh, whole page of books. And then some more pages. Paper um, pages out of a book. Let's see that one even says lesson, lesson 23 scientific reasoning. <laughs> that's cute. And then a different book pattern and this is an old blackboard style and then a darker argyle cross hatch and then I think we've seen this one before but I'm not 100% sure and then that is the end of that so this is really cool, and um, you'll be seeing this more in the future. I have plans, I have ideas, and I'm going to hopefully bring you along to execute those. Um, so I'm going to bring out my... Okay, so I kind of narrowed it down, because um, that's a lot of washi, and I want to use it all at once, but I can't, because <laughs> that would just look weird. Anyway, so I've narrowed it down to using stickers out of these two books. This is a Recollections Fall and Winter that's like two or three years old. And this one is the Happy Planner Essential Seasons. I'm going to use the fall stickers, obviously, out of this. And um, I've narrowed it down to 
these four, the ones with the pumpkins that has autumn vibes and fall on it. Um, the sunflowers, because I have sunflower um, stickers in one of these books. And then I've got the orange crosshatch. And then again, the trucks with the fall pumpkins. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those yet. Um, I will get there. So I'm going to put you on fast forward so you don't have to sit here and struggle with me and I will